you know, five years in Singapore. When I took the first bite, right, it reminds me of nasi lemak. I don't know why. I thought it's gonna be like the typical zi cha kind of ginger stir fried pork. It's not, uh. They add a basil. So basil reminds me of Taiwan. Jiu Chen Tai reminds me of Taiwan. Their stir fried item is incredible. I need more rice. Right? Yeah. In Taiwan, the Thai pot is it like that? Not salty? Uh, less salty than the Singapore. Less salty than the Singapore. I'm going to white rice again. Now I'm going to try their lo bao bang. Still rice, still can chase one. Last call. Anyone behind the camera want to try this one? This one, they are oysters. Ah. It is. <laughs> I say good, they're straight away. Okay, good afternoon, people. Today we are at Beach Road area. Is it Be Beach Road, right? Beach Road area. Yeah. North Ridge Road, la. very near Bugis, actually walkable from Bugis. This place is called Taiwan Way, okay? Taiwan Way, okay? But, but it's a play of words, la, okay? So they serve like Taiwan version of zi cha. In Taiwan, okay, in Singapore we call zi cha. Zi cha translate to zhu cha. Okay, in Taiwan they call it re cha, re cha. They call it re cha, which is uh, hot cooking. Uh. I mean, if you translate it directly, it means hot cooking. I'm pretty excited because they have a lot of options. And uh, do a quick review for you guys. Probably not gonna be a review, uh. it's gonna be a challenge here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so uh, I got a boss here, okay. Because I'm not familiar with Taiwan's Re Chao, okay. So uh, I got him here and he's gonna... This are the, this, are, this whole list, uh, 18 dish, uh, it's all recommended by him. This is all the Re Chao's It's more than Taiwan's Re Chao, so it's more than the So which ones are more than in Singapore? Okay. 現在這個菜單裡面就是有石瓜蛤蜊這是從台灣空運來的哦你你你這邊的食材都是空運過來啊不是全部啦但我目前有空運的部分就是石瓜苦瓜山蔬水這個都是台灣比較代表的哦 it's been a while since I like eat the dishes slowly with a bowl of rice. So I want to try how long, but then then you must find me, find me to make this here, and then I'll just eat it. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we ordered a lot. Initially, right, I watched some videos uh, about like Re Chao, right? The dishes is not this size. Uh. This place is a little bit bigger. Let's try if the food is good. Okay, give me a very big bowl of rice. I'm gonna transfer it to my a normal bowl. Usually you come and order rice, it's not this size. I'm gonna transfer it to a normal bowl and then uh, easier for me to eat. Which one should I start first, producer? I start from vegetables first, uh, okay? This one looks very good. I have no idea what vegetable is. This is what? Sui Lian, is it? What in Chinese? In English, it's called what? Some sort of fern, is it? Wow. The texture is very nice. Lots of crunch. Lots of crunch going on because I'm not sure what it is. It's definitely some sort of fern. They stir fry it with a bunch of garlic some pork in there. I think they added cornstarch as well because the gravy inside, right, is very thick, man. Mm. Mm. You don't find this in Singapore. This is quite rare. This is common in Taiwan. Yeah. Right. Epic all the veg. Well, it's solid, it's good. It has a sweet aftertaste. So we move on to the second vegetable. This one looks like Kai Lan, eh, but I don't remember ordering Kai Lan. Eh. Let me try it. Uh. Maybe it's not. Mm. It tastes a bit coconutty. Don't know why, but it's good. The first bite when this vegetable, when I took the first bite, right, it reminds me of nasi lemak. I don't know why. Come on, man. We can eat two bites, one bite. Hey, but this vegetable is very good. Uh, I am not a fan of. Gailan because it's very bitter. This one's not bitter eh. and then it has some coconut aftertaste. I don't know, maybe they use coconut oil or something. Interesting. These are deep fried century eggs. Okay. So they deep fried the century egg and then they stir fry it along with like a bunch of green onions and chilies and all. It's not too spicy. Ah. Mm. 100% this one you can eat it on its own. You don't need rice with this. Oh, but the century egg is so flavorful after after they actually deep fry the thing. I never tried. 
，你要菜我就留一点给你，不然我就全部干完了。OK OK。No idea what is this, but let me try. It's some sort of kung pao something. I think it's beef, ah. Hmm. Kung pao beef. Hmm. Quite good. It's got a bit of kick to it, due to they added a bunch of like the dry chili, but it's not overly spicy. Uh, very, very. It's got a sweet, savory kind of aftertaste. Show you, show you. When they on the side, quite. Okay. You need rice with this sweet, gingery, a little bit peppery, but the vegetables that goes along with it, though, all the green onions and all, those are very, very. It's kind of refreshing, fresh, crunchy. You want to try this? Okay, wait, wait. I, I take some more first. Yeah, pass. Okay, I, I'll save same as same as the bubble kongjie. I save one bite for my producer. He cannot eat too much. Huh? I think you give me one bite all the dish. I also cannot finish. This one they added basil in the stir fry, and then it's got a wine taste. I think they added like some Chinese wine when they when they stir fry it. This is good. This is good. Okay, I thought it's gonna be like the typical zi cha kind of ginger stir fry pot. It's not. Huh? They added basil. So basil reminds me of Taiwan, the Jiuchen Tai reminds me of Taiwan. And then there's the wine. The wine taste is very strong, like Chinese wine or something. Like Sam Bei, you know, the Sam Bei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Wow, hey, their stir fry item is incredible. I need more rice. Let me refer it. Ah, stir fry clams with basil. Self explanatory. I see a lot of basil on top. Oh, that clam is so good. Okay. Yeah. You should really bring out this one. Like, I think seven or eight serving. Like. It's like one shot, or one shot. I don't have to go so many times. Is that too much? Sorry, Stephen cannot die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dishes so far, none of it has been disappointing. It's so big, man. Huh? I the the reason why I ordered eighteen dishes is because I'm assuming that everything is like one man portion. This is not okay. We try this one. Uh, this is the deep fried, uh, deep fried chicken, chicken cubes with basil. I see all basil. I just like a sian su ji. Good. Okay, they didn't add a lot of spices to this. Uh. It's just a typical salt and pepper. Oh man, fry to perfection. It's gong bao stir fry, some sort of like glutinous, glutinous rice. Okay, it looks like that. I thought the exterior is hard, and then the inside is gonna be like moist, fluffy or something. But it's not. The whole thing is hard. Oh, hard to chew. Like this one, uh, producer, you're gonna help me with this. I don't. I'm not a fan of that. This is si gua, si gua with clams. Wow, this is very fresh. Not everyone would like the texture of this. But I think this is a very, very best way to cook this uh, because you retain the freshness of it. Okay, this dish, uh, they call it the stir fried lufa with clams. A bit bland, a bit too bland for me. Uh, the thing about this dish is I, I can still accept, but, but uh, the clams, uh, the shell will break when they stir fry this thing. And when you're eating this dish, right, you can't go with rice uh, because it's very dangerous. The shells will prick you. So I'm being very careful here. I need to warn you guys, uh, in case you guys like me, uh, big bite, big bite. Yeah. Okay, wait, this is not the typical Taiwan sausage. This one got more flavor, a lot more flavor. Mm. Yeah, the sausage is quite good. Mm. You can order this as a snack. Uh. No need rice, uh. it's not too salty, perfectly balanced. Natural casing. I'm not sure what you guys look for when it comes to eating sausage. But for me, right, I need the natural casing. Be it you're eating the Nathan's famous hot dog in the state or the Cycron in Thailand or whatever, or Taiwan sausage, you need that natural casing. You need that snack when you bite it off. If not, not sure one. I know this is the Thai Bhutan, the Thai Boy, the one with the pickled radish. Eggs are cooked perfectly. Honestly, the eggs are cooked perfectly. Very, very fluffy on the inside. The edges are very crispy. 
uh, the Thai pot, right? It's not too sweet. One thing that is lacking is it's not salty enough. If you want to go with rice, this thing will be a lot more salty. I'm going to start working through the cabbage now. This is cabbage with sakura shrimp. Yeah, the eat the sakura, the heavy. Mm. All their vegetables are very good. Very, very good. Cooked nicely, got wok hay, got that crunch. Oh. They really cook it very well. Eh? Like, nice. The exterior is a bit smoky, fluffy, and all. But it's just like a bit saltiness. Eh? You need it to be a bit more salty. Because I don't know why the, the Thai pot not salty at all. In Taiwan, the Thai pot is it like that? Not salty? Eh? Or oh, it's quite salty? Eh? Uh, less salty than the Singapore. Less salty than the Singapore. Yeah, then, then maybe I'm gonna it to the Singapore taste. I don't know. Hey, yeah, this goli thai is damn good. Okay, I cook goli thai at home. Eh? I thought I'm very good at goli thai. This one is... I don't think I can replicate this. Eh? The dandens is perfect. It's got a bit of smokiness from the wok hay because it's fried using high heat. The liu liu sakura shrimp, very nice. I just let my producer try one bite. I don't know, maybe in Taiwan is like that. Hope you like Thai. Thai. Is it too big for you? Okay, I'm trying. Uh. I'm going to see you in Is it a bit too under, like under flavored? Oh, in Taiwan one is too mild, right? Yeah. Like I said, the 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 Thai botan is really very good, but it just lacks a bit of saltiness. So if they add a bit more, I don't know, soy sauce or something, I think it's perfect. What is this? Ah? I was saying it's cool, yo. It's not just a store. When I first look at it, right, I thought it'd be very similar to the the Kulu Yo, you know. But it's not uh, uh, kind of similar, but less sweet, less sweet, more savory, less ketchupy. You know, Kulu Yo, they add all the ketchup. This one less ketchupy. Can uh, this this is not spicy at all. Even though you see some like noticeable uh, chilies on it, it's really not spicy at all. How about there's more food? Uh? I think they miss out on this just now. Let me start one by one. It's a lot of food. I need to settle in the rhythm, it's not that kind of fish. I figured out all the rice. It's not at least 1.5 kg of rice here. Alright. Quite like, quite like. Steven, let's go to Taiwan. Let's go to Taiwan. Why is it called Hai Gua Si? I thought it's typically just clams. It's a different kind of clams. It's a different kind of clams. But it's not bad, it's not bad. Very sweet. Eh? And then usually in Singapore, you can't find clams, right? They are stir fry using basil. Eh? Very rare. This tofu, eh? it's not very complex, eh? okay? The, the, the sauce is made out of puree garlic. Uh, a bit sweet, but it's very good. When you eat it, right, you really want to chase it with rice. No more rice, eh? no more rice. Eh? It's good, it's good. Crispy on the outside, uh, very, very soft in the inside. I went on white rice again. Now I'm gonna try the alaba, but it's still rice, okay? Still can chase one. Okay, let's try this one also. Okay, the alaba but not bad also. Can try, can try. Uh, I think $3 for one bowl. Got a mini mountain one. So if you guys are like, don't get full easily, right? you can try the alaba but also. I wouldn't say it's super good, but uh, it's not bad also. This is good, wow. Sun chai, okay. Fermented vegetable. Fermented vegetable with uh, pork intestine. Alright, oh. Alright. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Lobba. Lobba, Lobba. Can you go to San Juan? I got to go. Ah. Uh. Not like carrot cake, or they need a carrot cake. No room at all. Like, full until like. One more bite also cannot eat. I'm going to go to the other side. 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 你好棒比较好<笑> 帥哥好像有點敷衍<笑>
last call. Anyone behind the camera want to try this one? Yeah, I really want to try it. This one damn good, I flavors. Uh. Before they start, one sub got it. Hey, we show we can show we can jam. This one, they are oysters. Uh. It is. I say good, they straight away. They use the smaller oyster, uh, not the super plump one. But it's good because they, they batter it nicely. It's like the xian su ji kind of. Kind of, kind of spices uh, that they added, they coated outside. Yeah. Totally, totally exactly the taste yeah. in Taiwan. Oh, exactly the taste in Taiwan. Why my goosebumps stand out? Goosebumps! How many chicken is good? I'm just eating the chicken, I'm just thinking about it. Suddenly, I, I'm getting flashback of the 8kg fried rice. Uh. Like, like a flashback. The chicken is not the chicken one. Uh. Okay guys, this is the beef fried rice. Uh. You, uh, you can see a lot of beef on it. Look at that. A lot of beef on it. Uh. Nobody's helping me now. They're all starting to suck everything. Uh. Now all full already. Oh. I'm always a team carry. Hey, come. You're ready, right? <laughs> not, much, not much time, eh? Right? Top 3, you think that's the nicest. The green onion pork and the kong tao beef, this two is very very good. Must order. Pork intensive with bigger vegetables, they're always good also. All the vegetables is very good. But the type, there are certain dishes that are misses also. La. But mainly it's good. No, actually, actually this one is stuffed meal already. So I'm just gonna finish one bowl. The other two is one bowl each and finish up. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one. There are people waiting outside already. Okay, they are very kind. Uh. They close half the restaurant for us to film. Uh. If you guys want to try out like Taiwan Red Tower, you can come here and try. But the thing is, I have never tried Taiwan Red Tower before, so I cannot give you guys a very good uh, gauge of whether it's super authentic, super good or not. But uh, I would say it's not bad. It's not. It didn't wow. It didn't. It's not a wow for me. But it's not bad. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Hey, you want to eat one? So if you guys like this content, remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Wow, full already.